Hello and welcome back everybody. It's complicated relationships Reddit stories. Hope you guys are safe and healthy. Now let's see what the story is about today. What would you do if you find out your wife of 3 years and partner for 8 is seen another man with children for over a year? You find it difficult to let her go and it look like she and the other man even with his wife knowing will still be carrying on. How could you reconcile if she's not invested in the relationship? Well, it's time we listen to the story. So, I just found out that my wife, the love of my life, has been cheating on me with another guy who I know for over a year, probably more like a year and a half plus. I suspected something last week, and although I always trusted her and respected her privacy, I got into her Facebook Messenger, something I never did before, and all the evidence was right there. I confronted her with it, and she denied it initially. but i showed her the evidence and she had to admit the guy is married 43 years old and has two kids we don't have kids i told his wife too i am pretty upset about this as you can imagine i asked her to get out of the house she is at her parents at the moment but she still has lots of her stuff here i know there's no way i can take her back i could never trust her now knowing it went on for so long knowing all the lies she told All of my heart just wants to pretend it isn't true and hug her and love her again. But I know that can't happen and it's awful. I've been in relationships that ended before. I know that life goes on. I know it's not the end, but I never gave myself so completely to anyone before. I opened up to her. She knew everything about me. It's going to be hard to move on and it's hard to trust someone again. I've never posted my story online before. I guess I'm looking for support. I feel so alone right now. I know I'll get through it, but it's just happened and it's so hard. This afternoon, I've been considering my options and part of me really wants to take her back, work through the problems and make things right again. In fact, it's what I want the most. I'd do anything to make it right, but there is no going back, is there? Most people who have commented say never take her back, and it's horrible, but I can't help but think they are right. How can it ever be the same? A year and a half of betraying and lies? It's all still so fresh, but I feel that I must make the decision to let her go. And that's what hurts the most, facing the fact she won't ever be coming back. But if I don't decide it for myself, I won't be able to move on. It's crazy. This time last week I was planning my future with her. I had no idea. I thought everything was going great. Well friends, OP feels that it's all gone, but still it is not the end for him. Now, let's listen to the first update. So, after not speaking to her since I found out about her and the other guy and kicked her out on Saturday, I saw her today as I asked her to come over to sort some stuff out. The main focus was to see where she was at in her head, to sort out the house and practicalities and to see if there was even a faint glimmer of hope of reconciliation. and there isn't after all the wonderful caring responses from you all some of which were more helpful and supportive than you could imagine i knew all along which way the whole thing was going to go the vast majority said do not take her back that i could not take her back yet maybe out of fear of loneliness maybe out of desperation i still thought that there may be a chance but after all that had happened with her prolonged cheating I knew that unless she was totally remorseful and probably on her knees begging and crying, there was no way I could consider even trying to reconcile. She said she was sorry she had hurt me, said that she never meant for it to end this way, but it would seem that she and the other guy, even with his wife knowing, will still be carrying on. It's been going on for so long, I guess, she's too invested in him now. I never asked her if there was any way of sorting it out or if she wanted to. I think I had known all along that it was over. Today's meeting has brought the reality of the fact that, and even though I had held a faint glimmer of hope that she may genuinely want me back and to make things right again, there was no sign of it from her from the word go, and I knew almost right away that we were most certainly over. She told me her reasons for starting to seeing the other man is what I already knew about how I neglected her a couple of years ago. I know it doesn't justify a year and a half of infidelity and lies, but I can't help but feel a little responsible. Thoughts such as if only you had been there for her back then are going round in my head, and I know that I hurt her back then. So for this, I am sorry, 
but I had tried to make amends and thought I had done so. Yet she had given up some time ago. I never gave up on her, even till the end. It brings closure to the whole thing, but all of her stuff is still in the house and she can't take it out yet, as she does not have a permanent place to stay. She is still everywhere here and there, and I am finding being in the house the hardest. I asked her to get her stuff out ASAP so that I can begin moving on. I'm taking on the house, she will take what's hers and leave what's mine. It will be an amicable split. She does not want any of my money, I haven't exactly got a lot anyway. So, apart from the logistics of the whole thing, I'm hoping this will go as smoothly as possible. So, I'm ready to start over. I have no other choice. But for now, I'm left with the loneliness and the pain of the whole thing. It hasn't even been a week yet since I found out. This time last week, I was blissfully unaware. I want to start afresh as soon as possible and move on. As sad and upset as I am, I will not be defeated by this. Well, Lopi, you must move on with your life. Here is the last update. So, it's been over a week now since I found out about her and sent her out of the house. She came to get some stuff on Saturday, and it was the first time I was able to talk to her without getting too emotional. She is staying by herself in the middle of nowhere, the guy she's been seeing is on lockdown by his wife, and is staying with his wife for the kid's sake. But he is basically a prisoner in his own home. They have not had much contact, or so she says, and she said that she had been in a very lonely place. So have I. She seemed remorseful and thanked me for not making things too difficult for her. I still feel so much pain over it all. The house is a lonely place, and her stuff is gradually going, so I'm starting to make it my own. But it feels as though all the life has gone out of the place. Nevertheless, I am getting on and making progress where I can. It has been suggested, not by her, that she has been manipulated by this guy from day one. He caught her at a vulnerable time, built her confidence, and more or less took psychological advantage of her. I think there may be some truth to that, for the simple reason that she did not leave me in that time. She kept it a total secret, nobody knew that I'm aware of. She was always free to leave, but never did, and seemed warm towards me, although distant in retrospect. I know she should have known better, but I am really thinking that this guy has messed with her head, and I don't know if she sees it. After all, there is no future for them, and now she has lost everything. I think he had her feeling good about herself whilst getting what he wants from her. After all, he is 13 years older and not exactly a looker either. This is really playing on my mind, and I would like to get your opinions on it. I'm not looking for justification for her actions, just understanding of this ridiculously crazy situation. We have reached to the end of the story. Before we go, let's listen to a few comments by the community. This comment is by Mapstar. I'm going to go against the grain here and suggest you try to work things out with your wife. I've said this many times before, people are so quick to jump on the divorce train. You took a vow, for better or for worse. This is the for worse. If your wife is genuinely remorseful, knows she made a mistake and still wants to be your spouse, I think you should not throw away your marriage over a mistake she made. For the sake of all of the time and effort that you have put into this marriage, at least make an attempt to try to salvage it before walking away. You should find out why she cheated. Was he a better performer? Did she love him? Is there something missing from your relationship that she was getting from the other guy? Here is the reply by OP. She doesn't seem remorseful enough if you ask me. She's not exactly begging to come back and she hasn't broken contact with the other guy. They're not talking because his wife has him locked up. I feel that she would have to volunteer complete remorse and contrition and contact with the other guy herself without prompt from me, open her Facebook, email, etc. to me, and even then I wouldn't want her in the house for at least a month whilst I decide how I feel. None of the above has happened. Not holding out much hope that it will either. And there is no way on earth I am asking her to sort it out, she still has to ask me. This is her doing, and unless she makes some serious effort, which I'm not seeing, I will be getting on with my life. I'm not quick to dump a relationship, I'm not the giving up type, but without her complete contrition, there is no going back. The length of the affair has made it impossible for me to take the lead in a reconciliation. This comment is by the user MavSMA. Curious as to who made the suggestion that she was taken advantage of. It really sounds like you're seeking to rationalize her deception and betrayal 
and diffuse her responsibility so you can feel better about it. She continued to be warm towards you because she didn't want you to catch on to what she was doing. You mentioned she didn't really apologize for her actions, only that you were hurt by the discovery, and then she shifted blame on you by suggesting you made her do it because you neglected her. She isn't the victim here. Here is the reply by OP. Yeah, I think you're right. Probably still holding on to some hope of reconciliation. Not ready to face the ending. That's why I posted up again, didn't want to make the wrong decision. It's hard to see what the right thing is to do. My mind is clouded with emotions. That's why I need your opinions. It was my mom who suggested manipulation, but my mom is in no way on her side. Just trying to make light of it, I guess. Well, we will see you tomorrow with another epic story. Until then, be good and stay safe. Please like, comment and share the video if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when we upload the next video. Take care.